just the guy. You've toughened up a bit yourself. Yes, I've been undergoing intensive training. Under Lady Maltran. Oh, I see. Don't be careless out there! Let it go! Let it go. I did it! Go for 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 I finished preparing the bottles. Lady. So, you finally figured out who I really am. Why? For the ideals I cherish most. Now, messenger, the royal order if you please. We have a war to start. <sighs> then I'll take it by force. This way. Too many prying eyes out here. Lila, what type of Hellion is Maltran? I... I honestly cannot tell you for sure. So all we know is she's one to watch out for, huh? A strong, sexy lady. I'm not seeing the downsides myself. this. I have other work to attend to. Why, Lady Maltran? Why? You are disgracefully slow to catch on. <sighs> what you see before you is reality and truth. One who cannot accept reality for what it is has no hope of being a leader to the people. I acknowledge my lack of resolve, but... 
Then you should have realized by now that your naive ideals have no meaning whatsoever in this present state of affairs. Not to the kingdom, not to the citizenry, certainly not to me. Then, then why did you act so encouraging and supportive to me all this time? Because you served two vital functions. One of which was your utility in getting Highland and Rollins to finally clash with their full military might. Your incessant whining was just the thing to provoke Bartlow and the others to action. Uh, uh. Alicia's ideals do hold meaning and value. That's right. Saray believes in her, even if you don't. And he isn't the only one. I'm giving my dear pupil her final lesson. Kindly stay out of this. What, you can't deal with reality and truth? So many empty words. Who's slow to catch on now? A fair point. No need to exchange words when blows will suffice. For your other vital function. Stand back, Alicia! All right. I can do this! Your technique is appalling, Alicia. Lila, what's her weakness? I don't know. I can't tell. She's a Hellion, but she's suppressing her nature. Demon Jack, Crimson Bridge! Aim and
I can do this. Your technique is appalling, Alicia. Lila, what's her weakness? I don't know. I can't tell. She's a hellion, but she's suppressing her nature. We drop her up! It's the end! The day is gone! Out the way, boy!
Letting you purify me. What truly needs purification is this entire world. Please, Lady Maltran, stop! You are just being deceived by the Lord of Calamity! <laughs> You're soft to the core, aren't you? Of all your flaws, that might be. What I hate about you the most. <gasps> this is reality, Alicia. I have proven my dedication to my lord. I have no regrets.
Alicia. I can't do this. I can't! I can't! I want to go home! I don't care about all this anymore! About the war, about our nation, about our people! I'm sick of their gossip, their mockery, their lies! Everything! I quit! I'm done being a princess, being a knight! Barlow and his guns can do whatever they want! I've tried so hard for everyone. <laughs> and what good did it do? And <laughs> still I... And yet, you still want to stop the war, right? I feel just like you, in a lot of ways. The strength of a knight exists to protect their kindness serves the people. Lady Maltran's words still linger in my ears. I know she undoubtedly meant nothing by it. Just some pretty nonsense to lead me on. Maybe. But even if she did, you took those words to heart, didn't you? And the Alicia standing right here is as real as it gets. You can count on it. <laughs> I'm sorry you had to see this side of my reality. Let me see what I can do about the Highland Army. I'm naive and soft and whiny enough to think it'll work. That's just who I am. Young folks, always with the melodrama. Sorry about that. What? Are you crying too? It's so beautiful. You say something? Nothing. Nothing. Do you think Sergei will be able to stop the Roland's army? It'll be alright. Sergei will do it no matter the cost. And that just makes me worry even more. The vanguard of the Roland's army is probably at last in Bell by now. Why don't we go check it out? I wonder what Rose is up to. I hope she isn't doing anything on what. It'd be unwise to hope for that at all. If it bugs you that much, why don't you go to Pendrago? Ah! Lies and prevarications! That's all you're good for! Yeah! Why aren't you fighting back against Thailand? Please, calm down and listen to me! I'm sorry. I couldn't stop war from breaking out. There's time to prevent the worst. Yes. I'm trying to minimize the casualties. That's why I'm asking the citizens to evacuate the- Screw that! Did my dad and brother die because of those Highland bastards so you could run away? You useless, bleeding-heart pacifist! So we just hand Last and Bell over to Highland, is that it? Never! You must understand the danger here. Highland is sweeping towards us with their entire army. Then we'll fight back with our entire army! The killing will never stop at that rate! A knight afraid of killing his enemies? You should be ashamed of yourself! Yeah, get out there and slaughter those Highland scum! It's our city and our property! We'll never surrender it! You coward! You don't even care! Your job should be to protect us! 
Let's step outside of town for a moment. Don't you run away, you craven good for nothing! Traitor! Chicken Knight, have you no pride? Put your life on the line for justice! Ignorant townsfolk, they don't even know what you're going through! Nevertheless, I can understand where they're coming from. The clash with Highland has already cost us many lives. But still... The citizens' malevolence has suddenly intensified. It's like there's something else going on. Sergei, we'd like to help you with this. There's still a chance we can stop this war. Alicia's doing all she can to rein in the Highland army as well. I have heard the tales of Princess Alicia. Perhaps one day, the two of us... Ah! Hellion! Sergei, watch out! Daddy! There's something wrong here, but... Men, take Formation 3! We cannot pull back if the people of Rolands are threatened. Run, child! <laughs> We should join them. Right! I'll thank you to stop interfering. Not after all my work setting this up. So you were behind this! Otherwise, Sergei's in big trouble! Darn it! Did we lose her? Wait, there's someone over. Huh? Sergei and the Knights? Yes, we were able to drive off the attackers. Zavid! Huh? Whoops. Don't respond to the Seraphim, stupid. To fool even the wind. Impressive illusions. Good thing her acting sucks. I'm just too much of a people person. What are you up to disguised as Sergei? The question is, what am I not up to? But I know what he's up to right now. And that's getting torn to pieces by Hellions! <laughs> Bring it on, Shepard! Uh, this feels wrong! That's the point! Don't hold back! Got it? Right! This isn't Sergei, no matter what! Ready for dirty dancing! Uh, Please, uh, Sir! Uh, uh, You're done! Blade! Tiger Blade! Fire! Burn! 
Too close! We're a fire! Unmelting flames! Ain't that right, Saray? Sure. Come on, man. Don't expect too much out of Saray on this. Hmm. You show no mercy at all, do you? Why would we? You're not Sergei. But of course, you and Chivalry Timbers, two peas in a pod. Friend equals save. Enemy equals kill. No malevolence equals protect. Hellion equals exterminate. What a simple and beautiful world you live in. How utterly convenient. Huh? What are you getting at? I'm saying that all it comes down to is your ego. An ego that is the foundation of malevolence. That's not true! Yes, I fan the flames, I won't deny it. But it's perfectly natural for the people to be filled with rage and hatred. But you call it malevolence and you try to stamp it out. The mission of the Shepherd, the Code of Knighthood. Whatever name you devise, the excuse remains the same. Tell me, Shepherd, what definitive proof do you have that you yourself are not corrupted by malevolence? Hmm? Nonsense! Saray is not corrupted! Of course not. As pure and righteous as your previous Shep- I'm not doing this for the sake of some mission or person. I'm doing it because I believe in it. That's all. And Sergei is the same way. A lame stab at justification. Wrong. I've always been like this. And he always will be. With the support of your friends, huh? So that's what sustains you. Saray. Let's go back. Sergei will be alright. Sure is a lot of gold lying around out there. Saray, over there! Looks like there. Sergey! I'm. I'm fine. However. Captain Sergey. We heard what happened. Thank you for rescuing this child. I... I just wanted to avenge my father and my brother. I know how you feel. But if you act on every impulse, you're no different from the beasts of the forest. I didn't care about any of that. I thought if I could kill even one Highlander, I could die happy. You should know better than that. We're all human. There's no reason we can't find a better path to follow. Can we search for that better path together, so that no more have to die? Very well. We'll hear you out. That's all I can promise. I am honored. The truth is... I too yearn to fight like a beast. Everything I say is a lie. I must be entirely corrupted by malevolence. Not at all, Sergei.
I wonder what Rose is up to. I hope she isn't doing anything unwise. Look, another one. That's number five. What happened? Didn't you hear? Every night lately, someone raids one of the nobles' mansions. Funny sort of burglar, too. They leave one of those notes around every time they pull off a heist. And then they tossed the stolen money all over the streets. If only we'd gotten here a bit earlier, we could have snatched some of it. Who would want the rotten charity of a thief anyway? I'm really worried about Rose. But there's nothing we can do right now. Any move she makes is bound to be under the cover of night. Let's wait until dark. <laughs> 